What's up guys, Firestorm Gaming here, and I just started playing NBA 2K17 Play Now more recently. And dude, it's totally jacked up. Everybody, everybody and their mother is using the Warriors. Like it is impossible to find a matchup that is not the Warriors. Like I literally think at least half or more of the matchups in NBA 2K Play Now are involving one or more players using the Warriors. It's so ridiculous right now. And it's pretty much this thing where like everybody's afraid that everybody else is going to use the Warriors. And so as a result, everybody's using the Warriors. So I've had tons of matchups where like if I use the Warriors here and I'm looking for a tier one team, guess who I end up playing? I end up playing the Warriors. So as you can see here, I'm playing against the Warriors with the Warriors. And yeah, it's just, it's total garbage, man. It's total crap. Uh, they've, it's pretty much, and we can all thank Kevin Durant. It's just like, it's like, thanks, dude. Thanks, Kevin Durant. You completely destroyed this game for us. And M I know Kevin Durant is an NBA 2K17 fan. Kevin Durant, actually pretty much all the NBA guys, they all play these games. Uh, but especially Kevin Durant, man. He, he claimed to be a guru at this game, which I think there's a lot of gamers out there that would love to take him on one-on-one, -on -one, especially at this point. But he kind of be, you know, like he's, I can't remember, he said, you know, like ever since like the 2000s or something, he was an NBA 2K fan and he's had every single game every single year and played competitively and all that. So he should understand that by making the stupid decision that he made, that he pretty much destroyed the game. He completely destroyed this game. And he should feel bad, man. Like he, he should just feel so horrible and depressed and, uh, distraught in his soul that he has ruined the greatest game in the world by making a decision to go to the Warriors. I mean, it's just ridiculous, dude. Like, you can't even play this game. Everybody, like, I want to play with the Timberwolves, which is a Tier 4 team, and I can't find players online. Oh, that's crap, man. Backcourt violation, please. Oy. But I was being a little bit lazy there while my guy was coming up to set a pick. But yeah, like if I try to play with the Timberwolves, Timberwolves are a tier four team. I can't find players online. It's ridiculous, dude. Like, if you don't pick a tier one team, it's hard to find players on here because everybody is using the Warriors. And the reason everybody's using the Warriors is because the Warriors are so overpowered and so overmatched that everybody is afraid of having somebody else use the Warriors against them. So it's it's totally retarded because. I'm sitting there, I'm like, hey, I wanna I wanna play like, you know, tier four teams in the muck with the Timberwolves and have some fun there, but oh no, I can't find players. Right? So uh, anyways, I digress, guys, but I think we can all conclude and we can all thank Kevin Durant. And I hope you troll this guys. If you got Twitter accounts, if you got Snapchat, Instagram, whatever, I don't even know what kind of social media accounts he has. He's probably got Twitter. All the NBA guys got Twitter. But you got to troll these guys, man. They read their social media accounts. So everybody go on your Twitter accounts and tag Kevin Durant and say, thank you for ruining NBA 2K17 play now. You suck. Hashtag you suck. I don't know, <laughs> something like that. But, yeah, guys, it's, it's ridiculous, man. I've never seen anything like this. Never thought it was physically possible for one basketball player to actually ruin a video game. I mean, this could have happened, like, if – I mean, you think back in the day, like – this would have, this would have been like I, I'll try to think of something I could compare it to. It would have been like it would have been like if Michael Jordan would have joined the Houston Rockets at their prime. Oh, that was a garbage shot. I did not try to throw that up. That was a controller issue. So no, I do not normally throw shots up like that. But that but think about that. Like if Michael Jordan would have joined the Houston Rockets with Hakeem Olajuwon and Clyde Drexler when they were a they had those two years where they won the NBA championship. What if Michael Jordan would have joined their team? What if early in his career he would have joined the Celtics because he decided that the Bulls were not a fun team to play with and he wanted to jump on their bandwagon? It just would have ruined basketball as we know it. And if there would have been video games at that point, it would have just pissed players off. Now, in the video game era, let me let me see. What, what could I think of in terms of like an actual scenario? It would have been like if Kobe Bryant would have joined the San Antonio Spurs. That's what it would have been like. If Kobe Bryant would have joined the San Antonio Spurs, it would have been like this. Or if LeBron James would have joined the San Antonio Spurs at some point. I mean, that is that is the level of severe severity 
uh, and extremism that is involved in this decision by Kevin Durant going to the Warriors. It is that outrageous and that ridiculous. Like, you just don't go to teams that you hate. Like, you don't go to your, your competition in the Western Conference and join their team. You just don't do that. Like, Kevin Durant's legacy is permanently tarnished for the rest of his life, and there's no recovering from this. It's not like LeBron James. Like, we all felt bad. Yeah, LeBron James left Cleveland, but he mostly pissed Cleveland off. He didn't piss me off by leaving Cleveland because I'm like, well, look, dude, like, uh, you know, he was playing with Ogauskas and Verizhao, and he had, like, Larry Hughes out there, and basically just all these garbage players that could not play basketball, and he had to carry the the, the scoring load for the Cleveland Cavaliers 100% of the way. So I did not feel bad for LeBron James, uh, you know, and I didn't. I was not upset at LeBron James for leaving the Cleveland Cavaliers because I actually felt a little bit bad for LeBron James with his situation in Cleveland because they weren't giving him the help that he wanted. And same thing with the Timberwolves. I'm a Timberwolves fan. Kevin Love demanded a trade. And I don't blame him because you look at the when he was playing with the Timberwolves, they weren't giving him the contract extensions he wanted. He was getting jacked around. He wasn't getting appreciated. And the efficiency rating of all the players surrounding him were like dead last in the NBA. He was the only superstar, the only halfway decent player on the Timberwolves. So I don't blame Kevin Love for demanding a trade. I really don't. I'm not upset at Kevin Love for demanding a trade out of Minnesota. I really, really don't blame him. And Kobe Bryant, when Kobe Bryant was isolated in Los Angeles with a terrible team, I don't blame him for demanding a trade at that point. I really, really don't. But for Kevin Durant to leave a team which it would have been fine if he wanted to leave that team. That's fine, right? And he could have joined any other team. He could have gone to, I mean, really, like he could have gone to anybody. And I think we all we all would have been totally fine with it. It would have been awkward if he would have gone to the Cleveland Cavaliers. So Cleveland Cavaliers and Warriors were like the two teams where it's like, you know what, that would be pretty sinister if you went to either one of those teams. But you're allowed to leave. You can go anywhere else. You can go to San Antonio. Nobody would have cried foul about that. He could have gone to the Clippers. That would have been fine. He could have gone to play with the Washington Wizards and John Wall. Like, whatever, man. Any of those situations would have been totally fine, and nobody would have made us think about it. But the fact that he went to the Warriors completely destroyed the NBA as we know it, created this outrageous scenario, and also created a situation where now – when I just want to have fun and play NBA 2K17 play now, I cannot find a flipping matchup for my Minnesota Timberwolves. I have to play against the Warriors every freaking game, and it is pissing me off. So anyways, guys, I will digress. I appreciate you watching my video. Thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe for a lot more NBA 2K17 content. I'll also be uploading some live footage from the Minnesota Vikings game because I just got tickets because a family member of mine happens to be dating somebody on the Detroit Lions. Oh, my goodness. But anyways, I'm not making that up, by the way. Like, people will say, oh, you're lying, man. You're making that crap up. No, I'm not making that up. That's a true story. It's It's for real, man. I'm not making that up. But yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more fun content coming your way. My videos will get much improved. I am a fairly new YouTuber, so I will be working on adding lots of cool effects and all that kind of fun garbage, and I will get a face cam set up here. I'm just working on getting a backdrop here that does not suck. But So you probably will be seeing my face in future videos. So feel free to subscribe. we got a lot of fun content coming your way. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.